All right, hey everyone. Okay, so over the weekend I was down in Manchester and I went to the Sonic the Comic or STC25 party convention thing that was on. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure what to call it. Um, I know it was abbreviated to STC25, but um, was it a convention? Was it a party? Was it just a get-together? It's very difficult to sort of put something on it because it had all the elements of a convention but it was set in like a function room type place basically a small bar um which is a really cool bar by the way it was set in the fab cafe in manchester and if you've ever been there it's really cool they have like um lots of retro toys and consoles and lots of movie memorabilia all around the whole bar it's really cool and really cool place and there was various artists and writers who used to work on the comic uh, set up there as well that you could go and go and see and get some sketches off and get an autograph from and have a little chat with and there was some like um on stage events but there wasn't really a stage so much as a small space in the on the dance floor that they used it was it was very small and low scale there was about um i don't know maybe 30 or 40 people went to it in total i would say but it was quite small it was quite a small scale event you know it wasn't it wasn't ever supposed to be like a summer of sonic or a sonic boom or any of these other major events it was literally quite a small low low, low scale thing and that's okay. That's okay, because it was perfectly fine. I had a lot of fun there. But I figured I would show you um, some of the, the things I got from it. Um, this is one of the things I got. It was a poster. And I think this is in all the goodie bags. I'm just going to quickly drag the goodie bag. Yeah, it was literally a goodie bag. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got um, basically on the day. And we'll start off with this. This is a poster. And I'm pretty sure... I think everybody got one of these. Um... The reason why I say I think is because there were very, it was done through a Kickstarter campaign and there was a lot of Kickstarter benefits and I know I got one but um, I think this is something that everybody got and I'll show you where this artwork is from later. But um, all these characters are all the characters that have appeared in Sonic the Comic and Sonic the Comic Online and there's quite a few I recognise and there's a lot that I don't recognise like... Um, well, obviously the ones that have appeared in Sega games you'll you'll know and recognise, but um, for example, um, there's some other ones as well which are Sonic the Comic related, like there's Porker Lewis up here, there's what looks like the ghost of Johnny Lightfoot there, um, I think she was Ebony, uh, yeah, I can't never remember her name, but um, yeah, and there's Techno the Canary and the Cyber Nick there, and um, Shadow obviously debuted in Sonic the Comic Online. Uh, Big was in the original Sonic the Comic in one panel, uh, but then we've got characters like this, like I don't know who that is, I don't know who this monkey is, if it is a monkey, and uh, I certainly don't know who this um, this character is down here, or this character. Um, I wonder if they're actually original, I wonder if they're fan characters actually, hmm, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, that's, that's that, that's a poster that everybody got I think, so yeah, let's move on to the next thing, and yeah, I've had to weigh these down. Okay, so first thing I grab is a bingo card. Yeah, there was a bingo game. Uh, you could join. You could join, and some money went to charity. But um, I had to actually quickly dash out of the venue when the bingo was on, so I actually missed it. But I still kept my bingo card. Anyway, let's move on. Um, oh yes, let's start off with. Let's start with this. I'm going to have to pin this down, I think, because it's. Very well rolled up. I'm pretty sure that this was the um, this was a kick a Kickstarter backer exclusive, and I've just knocked a lot of stuff on the floor because that was very clever of me. And I'm really gonna have to move this further along, aren't I? Yeah, I think that should get most of it in. It's a very big poster, so it's quite difficult to show this all in one shot without taking the camera up on a little fly around. Okay, so. Whoops. I might have to sort of slowly move it around. So yeah, this was the um, a poster that Kickstarter backers got if they backed to a certain tier. I might just see if I can get this more in shots, but nope. Okay, my tripod doesn't go that high. Um, yeah, uh, this was the Richard Elson artwork that um, you got if you backed to a certain level, and it's a really cool poster. It's based off um, some artwork that was in the original comic when... I think it's Sonic has to battle the Knuckles Metallics to um, to basically prove... It was a trial by combat kind of thing, and um, 
it was basically to prove his innocence. Sonic had to battle, uh, battle various. Uh, I think I think I know he definitely fights the Knuckles Metallics, but I there might have been some other characters. It's been a long while since I've read that particular issue. But yeah, this is clearly based off that artwork. Only now we've got Tails in the mix and Amy's down here as well, which I'll show you in a minute. And they're sort of being watched on by Eggman. Uh, Grimmer or is it Grimer? I can never remember. I think it's Grimmer because it's based off the. Um, I think it's based off a character from Lord of the Rings. The name, and uh, we've also got the. Um, I can never remember this guy. He, he's like the. Um, oh, I can never pronounce the name. Is the is it the Dragoon or the Draken Empire? I can never pronounce. I can never remember the pronunciations of these. But yeah, we've got Knuckles as well. Um, I can't remember if he was in the actual issue or not. He might have been, but it, it kind of blurs into one after a while. So yeah, we've got the. Um, Knuckles Metallics now in here, and I'm pretty sure that is how they defeat him in the comic book, I think. Oh wait, no, um, I can't remember. Um, for some reason this seems familiar, but at the same time I want to say he was actually crushed by a hydraulic door, very similar to how they kill the Terminator in that movie. But, um, yeah, oops. <laughs> oh, I need a better tripod. Yeah, uh, this is the, this is the actual poster that we got, and it's printed on glossy paper, and... Yeah, I really like this. It'll look pretty good if you got it in a frame, maybe. Yeah. Also, I, re I wish Richard Elson was there, because I would have actually got him to autograph this. Yeah, he actually... Uh, Richard Elson was supposed to be there, but he had to pull out at the last minute due to work commitments, which is a shame. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I would def definitely have asked him to sign this one, because it's really awesome. It's such a cool piece of artwork. Okay, um, let's move on to the next thing now. So, hey, that's a neat party trick. All right then, so <coughs> we want some smaller items now that we're in the goodie bag. And we have some cards. And again, I think everyone, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think everybody got one of these. Um, yeah, they're just little postcards that have various characters on it from Sonic the Comic and Sonic the Comic Online. Um, I think the majority of these are from, oh wait, maybe not, no. Yeah, I think it's an even mix, actually, of Sonic the Comic and Sonic the Comic Online characters. That's from Sonic the Comic Online. That's actually a panel from the um, from the comic book that we got. Again, it was. I'll show you that soon, actually. It was really good. And I think that was a panel from it as well. I've only actually read it once, and it was late last night, because I was very tired of this weekend. Yeah, it wasn't actually a major convention, but... Um, the, the hotel that I was staying at, it was incredibly hot and it was very difficult to get a lot of sleep. So I've not had very much sleep for the last three days, which is why my memory's going a bit funny. And we also got these small little cards as well. I don't know if there are any others because I vaguely remember seeing other other ones of these on some of the on some of the desks that were dotted around where people were drawing. So there might have been other characters, but these are the ones which are in my goodie bag. Again, they were just little. Um, they're just little collectibles, and I know I noticed as well that some people are actually asking some of the artists to actually autograph some of these, so that was quite a cool idea. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that was in the goodie bag as well, you could clearly tell it had been designed so that um, you could get autographs and things on them if you didn't bring anything with you, and I didn't really take that much just because I want, really wanted to travel light as possible to this convention. But anyway, next up we have some pin badges. Yeah, Carl Flint was actually selling some unofficial merch as he called it but just look at this these are cool um i just love the fact that he's actually gone the gone the extra mile of actually putting a you know actual proper packaging on this and bring this closer so you can see all the badges are based off his artwork from various from various comic strips which i thought was really cool so i definitely picked up these because obviously i collect pin badges and yeah i really like those and we got some wristbands yeah, there was a wristband which proved your entry into the events and it came in two colours and I was lucky enough to get both of them because they had a lot left over at the end of the day. Yeah, they got Sonic the Comics logo on there and STC25. Okay, what else have we got? Aha, now this white rag <laughs> is my t-shirt. Yes, and I believe as well if you back to a certain level you got a free t-shirt. And it's based off some Richard Elson artwork, which again, I think is really cool. I really like this. It's a really good t-shirt. And I like giant t-shirts, so I got a big t-shirt. Yeah, um, I really like this. Yeah, I got it on white because I, on, on white because I figured that the actual artwork would look a lot better. Um, 
you know, black print on a white on a white background, and I really do like it. Yeah, it's a really good shirt. But anyway, you go to a convention, odds are you're going to get a t-shirt. So I wanted to make sure I got one. Okay, so let's put that over there, and um, what shall I what shall I show next? Um, I'll show this next. So there wasn't much there to buy, but Carl Flint was selling some artwork for the very cheap price of twenty pounds each. Yeah, so there wasn't really much there that I particularly liked the look of, so I didn't really spend too much. But um, at the end of the day, I sort of had another look through his art folder, and I saw this one, and I was like. Well, it's only twenty pounds, and I want this one just because of. Um, then I can turn around to people and say, "Yeah, well, I own official artwork of Tails sat on a rocket-powered toilet." <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is just insane. Um, I cannot. Rem I vaguely remember this strip. I don't remember why Tails is not flying himself. So he sat on a toilet, which is powered by rockets, in order to get up to somebody's airship. And, <laughs> I mean, where else are you going to find official artwork of Tails sat on a toilet, which is just so comically wrong. It's unbelievable. And the fact, this obviously flies, but it has wheels on it as well. And it's rocket-powered, but it has a propeller, which is... It's all sorts of wrong. Everything about it is wrong, but it's just hilarious. So yeah, um, yeah, I got one. I got the one page. I just there was there wasn't really anything else there that I really really wanted, so I didn't just buy stuff for the sake of it. But I I did really like this. This one did make me laugh, so I did pick this one up. But again, um, oh actually, oh no, there's nothing on the back. Well, there is. There's some printing stuff on the actual back of this page, but I'm not. It's just stuff like uh, technical details on the actual page itself. Um, but I'm not going to take this out just to show that because it's not very interesting. Um, yeah, uh, again, I there wasn't much there to buy from this convention. Um, there was uh, Lou Stringer was selling um, some of his some of his other comic books that he that he'd written, and um, Carl Flint obviously had the pin badges and some artwork, and you could also pay for some original sketches as well. So it wasn't like a major convention, there was just like the odd one or two things, and I decided, yeah, I'll take this as a little treat for myself. So yeah, I picked that up. And then we have this. Oh, yes! Now if you had a full collection of Sonic the Comic physical comics, and you didn't go, you don't have a full collection anymore. Yes, um, this is another physical issue of Sonic the Comic. Yeah, um... Since Sonic the Comic uh, stopped being produced, I believe there has been two previous physical editions of this comic. There was one given away at a Summer of Sonic convention, and there was one given away at Sonic the Comic Con, which was about five years ago now, I think. I think it was, wow, was it that far? Was it that long ago? Yeah, well, anyway, yeah, there was that one. Um, yeah, I think it was five years ago, because I think it was for the 20th anniversary. But yeah, and anyway, yeah, and this was the um, the issue that they had printed and produced for this event. And this is a whopper of an issue. It's really big. I mean, it's it might even be bigger than what the original comic strip was. Oh, I love this. I love the back cover, how it's all the various issues, including the online ones. Yeah, I really liked that. And also, I do like the fact you can see as what well, you can clearly see where it becomes Sonic the Comic Online because of the totally different art style. But um, yeah, I really like that. I thought that was great. But um, yeah, oh yeah, you might remember this. This was the artwork that was on that poster. And I know they didn't really directly. Well, uh, one of them did, and I'll show you that soon. But um, yeah, um, a lot of people as well were getting the various artists that were there to autograph this issue and I asked them to as well because I just thought it looked so cool. The the signatures around on the sil the silver pen on the on this background, it just looked really cool. And then Ferran just decided to combo break and just write his signature over the whole thing. But we love Ferran, so that's okay. But um I didn't actually read this during the event. I waited until um, I got back to my hotel room and I was very, very tired. But I have to say, this was one hell of a free gift. Hell of a free gift, in fact. Um, it was well worth the price. Of, it was well worth the um, higher tier Kickstarter fees just for it. Because this is a, it's a really good story. 
like I know it's the concluding part of a of a really long arc that they've been doing, but I haven't really been reading that. But you can you can really sort of pick up what's going on. It's very well written and it's multiple artwork styles from different from different artists as well, but it all goes together really well. And I love this. I, I loved this art style. I really liked this. It was it was I don't really know how to describe it, but at one point it looks a lot like Sonic OVA style artwork and also like with a hint of traditional classic artwork to it as well but he's so clearly you know it's so clearly modern Sonic and I really liked that I really I don't know who this artist is but they really uh, yeah I really don't know who this artist is but I really like their stuff it's really good I, I really liked it I, I love their depiction of Sonic especially especially in this panel here I really like it so yeah, I hope they get some more work and stuff, because it's really good. And again, I love this panel as well. I love this. Um, I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like um, Dr. Robotnik has transported his consciousness into a, into a computer. So he is now basically an artificial intelligence, combining an artificial intelligence with his own intelligence. That's scary. But I loved this panel. I thought this panel was great. And again, we go on, and we go on, and then we get a big surprise. We get a, yeah, we get a new Sonic story, story by Nigel Kitching, colours by Nigel, Nigel Dobbin, yeah. And Nigel Kitching states that this is the last Sonic story he will ever write. And it's quite a good one. It's... It's basically a Sonic the Comic version of Archie's Mobius 25 years later. They don't state how far in the future it is, but it seems to be quite significant. Like, um, Sonic is getting kind of old, and, um, you know, there's obviously something, something's not right with him. Um, he's getting, you know, he's, re he's getting tired out after just a basic run, and... Tails says, you've got something wrong with you, you shouldn't be pushing yourself like that. And then there's other stuff as well, like, um, I don't really know, there's a lot, it sets up a lot of mystery in this issue, like how Eggman's been captured, but again, look at him, he looks, he looks old. And it looks like he's got um, a bit of dementia as well from the looks of that. And there's also small hints as well, like, um, like Amy and Techno have an adopted son now. And um, Sonic is the Sonic is their godfather. And again, it sets up a heck of a heck of a lot as well. Like um, Egg Robotnik, he's called Robotnik in this. I keep forgetting. Um, manages to escape his prison or something, and then we end with Super Sonic returning as well. So part two isn't going to be a physical edition, but oh god, if there is ever another, if there is another physical edition of Sonic the Comic. I want part two in it. I want I want a part two. I don't care if it's years in the future, after it gets printed online, it deserves to be printed because this was such a good issue. Everything about this was really good, especially this mini strip and the colours, the artwork, everything about it was so good. I want that issue printed physically. And um, I did actually see, I got a little sneak peek of how this strip actually ends, and it is such a good ending. I, I think a lot of people might be like, oh, I wanted something else, but no, it fits it really well when you think about it. But um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil that for you, but it was such a good, it was such a good strip that, and the fact I got to sneak peek of the ending was also really cool. But yeah, um, this for me was well worth backing it. It was such a good issue, and this was such a good little gift that everybody got. But that's not the only thing. So like I said, um, Carl Flint was there, and he had a few items for sale, including this almighty poster based off some artwork he did. Now, there is no way I can get this all on camera, so bear with me here. In fact, I might need to pause the video and adjust this quite a lot because it's very, very large. So as you probably can tell, it's a poster 
an almighty poster printed on very, very high glossy paper. In fact, it was that glossy, um, people were asking him to autograph it and he was warning people beforehand that it's not a good idea because the ink will just run, so that's why there's no autograph on this. But yeah, it's based off a pin-up that he did and he's only produced 50 of them and I got number two of 50 because my partner was straight in there and she bought number one of 50 and you might be thinking why didn't you buy 50 of 50 uh because he left uh, 25 of them in his hotel room and forgot to bring them so yeah there was only actually 20 at the event but look at this look at that it's so cool it's such a it's such a cool thing as well. It, at the time, these were all the major reoccurring villains. Um, not every villain. There's obviously quite a few that aren't here, but these were like the major ones that were in the comic at the time, and they're obviously squaring up against the the major heroes that kept reappearing at the time, which was um, you know it it was a really cool issue. And the only thing the only downside I think to this is I, I kind of wish there was a background or something or maybe even a, the word versus here because the fact that there's um there's obviously quite a big space here it does it feels like there should be something there. Oh oh it should have been STC twenty five that would have been cool. Put the logo for the actual con thing there. Oh, I suppose if it wasn't in such high glossy paper you could get autograph signatures there. But uh, it's all right. Again, this is so cool, and I, I saw some people with them, and some people said that they were going to frame this and put it up on their wall because it is such an awesome piece of artwork. Again, it's really good. Yeah, I don't. I wish I could show you this all in one shot. Um, I probably can do, but I just have to move the camera. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all my pickups that I got on the day. Um, I could have got more obviously if I'd have bought all of um, Carl's artwork that he was selling but again there wasn't really anything there that I desperately wanted and I didn't want to spend money for the sake of it I kind of wanted to take this weekend easy and not have a lot of stuff to bring back or take to uh, hence why there's nothing like I didn't take any comics to get autographed either I just decided I'll go and see what happens so yeah um, this for me was definitely worth the pickup and oh actually um, I will show you this this is my number one advice for going to a convention. Take a poster tube, because the amount of times I get free posters and I have nothing to put them in, um, yeah, I, I don't even want to say. Because it really protects the posters and it's such it's such a good it's such a good idea. I would have been quite upset if this one had got damaged. <laughs> Okay guys, so I think that's all I can say on this. I will just finish off by showing you this awesome physical edition of the comic again. Um, that's all I can say. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to be producing videos a lot more regularly in the future now that my um, degree is finally concluded. Whee. So yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching guys and I hope to see you again next time. Oh. Uh, yeah, just because everybody's doing it now, uh, you see the subscribe button, you have to click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I upload stuff now, because uh, YouTube wants you to do that for reasons we don't understand. Anyway guys, I hope you really like this video, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.